Well, this week in Destiny, we've got week two of Iron Banner in episode Echoes, plus we got more info from Bungie about the future. Well, it is Tuesday, the 9th of July, 2024, and this is what is going on in Destiny 2 this week. First of all, Lord Saladin is still here in the tower, so make sure to check out all the great loot from Iron Banner this week before Lord Saladin goes back to the Cabal. Don't forget, we've got the Claws of the Wolf. That is very, very good. And also the Returning Crimmel's Dagger as well. Definitely recommend both of these weapons. Very, very good indeed. Also, Tusk of the Boar. That is not too bad as well. Also today, we had a developer live stream from Bungie letting us know what's coming in Act 2 with Episode Echoes. So be sure to check that out on the Destiny of the Game YouTube channel. Well, next up, we've got the exotic mission rotator with Vox Obscura, and that means only one thing. The craftable dead messenger is back. That is a really, really good weapon. Definitely recommend you get hold of that one. Well, next up, let's check out the featured raid for the week, also found in the Legends tab, and that is the King's Fall raid from Destiny 1. So this is a great chance to get the Touch of Malice exotic scout rifle. Next up, we got the featured dungeon for the week. This is the Grasp of Avarice, and you can find it on the Cosmodrome. And the Galahorn exotic rocket launcher is waiting for you if you take on the Grasp of Avarice. Well, next up, we got the Nightfall content for the week, and also the Grandmaster Nightfall content as well. This one is the Disgraced, and your prize will be an Uzume RR4. If you do a Grandmaster version of a Nightfall, you could get an Adept version as well. Well, next up, let's have a look at Crucible. So I think the big news is Iron Banner is still here for week two. We've also got Zone Control and Elimination as well. And there's also another chance to get the Repost. It's a really, really good auto rifle this season. Also worth noting it is bonus Crucible XP all week long. Well, next up, let's have a look at these seasonal challenges for week six. So first of all, we've got Lost in the Pale Heart. So earn bonus progress for the Pale Heart. Lost Sectors and Expert Difficulty or higher Lost Sectors. Then we've got Fight Forever Guardian. So defeat Guardians with Supers and earn bonus progress for using Song of Flame, Twilight Arsenal or Storm's Edge. Those, of course, are the new Supers. Next up, we've got Cooperative Company. And that means complete a cooperative focus mission. We've got absolutely stunning, so stun champions, that is 50 champions in total. We've got eyeing iron, so complete crucible matches earn bonus progress in iron banner for victories. And we've got grey clouds as well, so defeat targets with arc, solar stasis or void subclasses equipped in gambit. And bonus progress is granted for ability final blows and final blows against guardians. Finally, we've got precision calibration. The calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles, snipers, linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows and bonus progress is against guardians. Well, it is Tuesday. It is reset day. So let's check out and see what Banshee 44 has in store for us this week. Well, we've got the Suros weapons and also the Field Forged weapons. So that's quite interesting. We've got Harsh Language, Battle Scar, Hand in Hand, and the Nazreddin there as well. Suros weapons, we've got the Cantata 57. Always, always good, that weapon. And also, well, where's the Scare Off? The Sakato 46. That is also very, very good indeed. Loads of good weapons there for free to play players. Next up, let's have a look at the featured weapons. So we've got the Chrysura Mellow. We haven't seen this one for a while. Chamber Compensator, Steady Rounds, Outlaw, Harmony. Not too keen on that roll. Next up, Annual Skate, Steady Hand, Extended Mag, Triple Tap, Dragonfly. Yes, 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 please. Enigma's Draw. We've got Quick Dot. We've got High Caliber Rounds. We've got Full Auto, which uh, is probably useless these days. And Demolitionist. So, would probably steer clear of that one. Next up, we've got Soul Survivor, so Sniper, Polygonal Rifling, Extended Mag, Rapid Hit, and Firing Line. There's a pretty decent PvE combination and also comes with Disaster Plan as well. And then finally, Honor's Edge. We've got Hungry Edge, Balance Guard, Energy Transfer, and Shattering Blade. 
Well, those are your weapons from Banshee 44 this week. But next up, let's have a look at the Ever store and see what we've got for Bright Dust. First of all, shifting cross phase. And as always on reset day, we do seem to have trouble loading things from the Bungie servers. Let's come back to that a little bit later on. The Coppertone, Coppertone Patina as well. Next up, Signal Intercept. So this one seems to have loaded, So and that looks pretty good too. Got something here for Dead Man's Tail. Ornament, an exotic ornament. Pretty good. And we've got Chomping Dance. Pretty good. Let's see if we can see the shaders this time. There we go. Shifting cross phase. A little bit bright for my liking. I don't know about you. And then copper tone patina. Now, I'm not a fan of these shiny uh, shaders personally. Let me know in the comments what you think. We've got time loss projection. We've got necrosis. That is for the recluse, of course. Have a look at that again. Not bad. It looks uh, a little bit too similar to the base model for me. Next up, the Shining Cabriolet. The very good-looking exotic ship. That is nice. I do like that one. We've got Grass Guzzler. That is pretty sweet. We've got Kit Shell. Like it's made out of Meccano there. But watching you. Very good indeed. We've got Samba Dance. What else do we have? We've got Resurrected Shadow. Pretty good. We've got Signal Intercept. Oh, we've seen that one just a minute ago. We've got Illicit Transmit Effects. Very cool indeed. Then we've got Rustberry. That is a very good looking shader, especially on this outfit. I do like that. I always say that and then I forget. Next up we've got Chitin Slate. Also very good. That to write a note to remind myself to go back and look at that first one. That was very good. Deep Sea Jaunt. And finally, Lilac Bombast. Not too bad. Still a little bit shiny. Well, that is it for your ever store Bright Dust update for the week. Well, that is about it for your weekly reset information on the 9th of July, 2024. I think the big news this week is Iron Banner is still here. You can also go and get the Uzume RR4 from that Nightfall with the Disgraced this week for the Nightfall and the Grandmaster Nightfall. So next week we've got Act 2 to look forward to in Episode Echo, so really, really looking forward to that. Make sure you go back and watch that developer live stream from Bungie. Really, really good stuff. But whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content. Here on Endgame Express, you can also like the video and share the video too. That would help me out here on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today, I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content shout outs in the videos access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in Tier 1, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our Community Discord and also early access to content. In Tier 2, that is $4.99 and you get shoutouts in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For Tier 3, that is $8.99, and you'll get access to exclusive community videos, and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels. But to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable. And in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage-only content. 
Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links, and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.